guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see by the title below, we are doing a Stitch Fix unboxing. It's been a few months since I've had one, um, so I was excited to uh, reconnect with Stitch Fix and ask them to um, restart my fixes because I did contact them by email and let them know until further notice, uh, don't send me any more fixes. I don't want to have to go in every single month and stop them. But to restart it, I did have to contact them. So I already did take a sneak peek online before this was delivered. This was actually just delivered probably about an hour ago. And I have to say I was very displeased by what I saw online um, from what I seen what was coming. So let's just get into it and I'll explain as we go. So as always, you get your bag to return everything. You get your stylist card and your note is in there from your stylist. I think this is the same girl that I continue to have, even though I've asked for a new stylist. I'm sorry if you watch my my videos, but I, I have been asking for a new stylist. <clears throat> she said that she's been looking at my Pinterest page, um, that she's seen a lot of tops in there that had similar things to it. So that's why she put them in my box, basically is what it says. Uh, there's no way that she looked at my Pinterest page because what's in here between this, my note, and what is on my um, profile for Stitch Fix, totally opposite um, of what I have in there. So, all right, so this box, there is a, it's a total of $236. Uh, buy all discount takes off $59. My stylist fee, which I do pay um, per box, I don't pay the yearly fee because I like to get the extra $20 off if I decide to keep the whole box or keep something from the box. Um, so if I kept everything today, it would be $157. I think with tax, I did the math. It was like $170. So first thing I noticed, because I've already been in this box, I don't want to nitpick things, but it was just a little odd. So this is how I got my box. I took everything out. I put it all back together so you can see. Nothing wrong with the paperwork or anything, but this is how my box came. Does anybody see anything unusual about this? I did. I noticed right away that it was just kind of thrown in the box. I can't even get it out now. So it was all wrapped up. Like I said, I've already been in here, but it was kind of just in there upside down, which I know it's not a big deal, but I've just never seen Stitch Fix be that careless. There's typos in their notes. Um, I mean, it almost sounds like I've had Mindy for a long time, but it almost sounds like English is like her fifth language, which I don't mind. I have no problem with that whatsoever, but it's like they're getting very careless lately. So, let's get into the box. I have not tried anything on. Excuse my appearance this morning. I'm only dressed for you guys for this video. I'll try to look a little bit more put together when I do the try on. So, all right, let's start with the first thing that I pulled out of the box today. And let me tell you why I do not like this shirt. Actually, let me get my paperwork first. So, the first thing this is... The Crescent Burial Cold Shoulder Blouse. It's in blue. It's a size small. And it is $48. I'm glad that they are finally listening to me that my sizes have changed. Because I was getting mediums and they were fine. But since I had lost weight, gained a little back, had some surgery, came back again, uh, lost it you know, again within the past week, uh, I'm glad I got the smalls because I feel like maybe I might even be heading towards extra small now, but let me get to this. So it does have long sleeves. This is what they mean by cold shoulder. Uh, that's like spaghetti straps. So <clears throat> it does have long street sleeves. It does um, cinch together at the wrist. And the material, let me see if I can get close enough for you to see this because I thought it was going to be like a nice, I don't know what I was picturing cotton silky material it is like like a see-through gauze type feeling if you can see that but I wasn't happy with it <clears throat> and let me tell you why my biggest complaint is not that it just looks like it's like a balloon style so I lower my sizes but you keep sending me things that look like they're ballooned it's specifically in my profile in Stitch Fix it says do not send me any more blue or cobalt blue items because they were sending me one or two in every single box. And I do have a few pieces. I did keep some, but they were sending me cobalt blue in every single box. I said no more cobalt blue. Okay. That's piece number one. And I'm going to try everything on. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse me. So the next thing I have here <clears throat> is the West Key Allen Tie Sleeve uh, High Low Blouse. It's in navy. It's a small, again, blue, which this isn't so bad blue, but it's $42. There it is. At first glimpse, you wouldn't see anything wrong with it, right? <clears throat> the tie, you'll be able to see better when I have it on, but the tie at the arm, it's got the high low, it's got the crisscross in the front. My gripe with this shirt is just this week on their style game, I gave this a thumbs down. Just this week. It was either Sunday or Monday. I just gave this shirt a, a thumbs down. And I know it was this shirt. One, because I don't do I don't really do floral. I kept a dress from them that had a lot of floral in it because my boyfriend liked it. I kept it. It looks great on. It's comfortable. It's way too big for me now. Um, I don't do floral. So I remember thinking this shirt would be so cute because I like the ties. I like the high low. I like that it's a little dressy and it didn't have flowers on it. So I disliked it. And somehow I still got it. So <clears throat> that's my gripe with that shirt. Um, let's finish the gripes first. Okay, let's just get this all out of my system. The next thing I have is um, from Pink Clover. It's the Denver Front Twist Scoop Neck Knit Top. It says it's in dark pink. It's got gray too. It's a size small and it is $38. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I drank too much coffee and now it's like making me have to clear my throat. So here's the top. Again, you don't see anything wrong with this top, right? It is very, very soft. Like if I had my eyes closed and I opened up this box, I'd be like, oh my God, this isn't going anywhere. My gripe with this shirt, since day one with Stitch Fix, I don't even know, this is fix number 11 for me. Really? I thought I had more. Okay. Since day one with Stitch Fix, I told them no pink. I'm not a pink person. Do not send me pink anything. No pink. This is the first pink item they've sent me. I believe. Granted, it's not that bad. I don't like pink. This is pink, Stitch Fix. This is pink. Granted, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Online, it looks a little pinker, a little lighter. It's not as bad. I mean, maybe you can't see clearly on here, but it is. It's pink. It's like strawberry milk pink. That's my gripe with that one, but I'm going to try it on because it's not too bad of a pink. And hopefully if it looks good, that might be the one item that I'm going to keep. This is actually the first item that I looked at on there that I thought, hey, I might actually keep this until I took it out of the box. This also has a gauze material. Let me show you this first. You see that? I thought this was going to be a nice soft cotton like that shirt. I'm like, oh, this shirt is great. I'll wear this to church. This will go with a lot of things and skirts. Some dress pants. I just bought a pair of dress pants, like maybe in uh, September, August time frame. I've never worn because I don't have a black shirt. This is perfect. I don't like the material. I'm seeing that they're sending these to everybody. This must just be something that came in with like, I don't know, new shippings or something because I see people getting it in green and all different colors, blue. I got it in black. Oh, I just noticed that on the arm. I don't like that. So there's the shoulder. I don't like that. But my gripe is, it ties in the front, which online it looked cute. However, if I put it in the back, you can't tell whether it needs to go in the back or the front. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on. We'll see what happens. And this was the one piece that I really, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I got so ahead of myself, I didn't tell you anything about this shirt. So this is West Key Juliana Cuff Sleeve Tie um, Front Blouse in Black. It's a size small. And it's $44. And the last piece that's in here, and I have a sweater like this from Trendsend. My very first Trendsend box, they sent me a sweater just like this in like an oatmeal color, and I did keep it. I paid an arm and a leg for it. It became my favorite sweater very quickly. It's still up there in my sweaters. I still like that cardigan a lot. Um, but the, the crisscross on the back is hard to deal with because if it doesn't lay the right way, it looks funny. It just, it's weird. Because of that, this is the one thing I just didn't even want to look at in the box. This is Artie Style 
Are You Lace Up Back Cotton Blend um, Pullover. It's in olive, it's a size small, and it is $64. So here's the front. It's a long sleeve, nice heavy sweater material. And here's the back. I thought it just laced at the top. It actually laces all the way down. So that's not bad if I can get it to continuously lay right. If it doesn't lay right, that might be a problem. So I actually like this. However, you never know. I could try everything on with a pair of jeans and think that every looks, everything looks great and I'll keep everything because I've done that before. Or I might try everything on and think one or two things might hit the mark and completely just send everything back. I was so frustrated when I seen this online. I almost emailed them and said, don't even send it. I'm not interested in anything that's on there. That's kind of why I miss Trunk Club because at least they give you a preview and you can like decline things. Um, I wish Stitch Fix did that. I wish Stitch Fix, um, you know, gave you like a couple more options. Maybe if somebody from Stitch Fix is watching this, maybe you could do like seven items on a preview and we pick five that we want you to send us, you know, um, that we're, you know, the system will let us reject two of them. That might be a great option, but I was a little disappointed by the bag. There's no accessories. There's no purse. There's no scarf. There's no shoes. There's no pants. This isn't a box. This isn't an outfit. There's no pants. It's all shirts. So, I'm a little underwhelmed, and I'm a little disappointed, but we always have the try on. So, there is still hope for everything. I will continue to give Stitch Fix another try. I notice they have a new option on there when you check out, asking if you wanted the same stylist, if you wanted a new stylist, or you just want to leave it up to Stitch Fix to decide what to do. So, I am going to ask for a new stylist and make sure I get one this time and see what happens with the next box. So, if you want to see all these things tried on, then stay tuned and keep watching. Thanks guys. All right, so now for the try on. Um, this is the first shirt and this is a definite no. So they had it tied in the front when I took it out of the box. Um, I put this shirt on and it, it's sticking to me right now. It is so staticky, it's crazy. So I mean, it wouldn't be a bad shirt if I needed like um, business clothes or something, if I constantly went in the office or something, but I, I really don't, need it and I don't know why it's so staticky but it is I've never felt a shirt stick to me like this before like I'm an absolute magnet this is crazy so this is definitely going to be a no um, I guess maybe you could probably even tie this in the back if you want it to um, but I just don't like that back tie thing I guess this is the, the thing right now I do see a lot of shirts getting tied in the front but let's move on The next one here, I don't remember the names of any of these shirts, guys. I know that you're seeing this all in one shot, but this is like almost two weeks later. I did ask for an extension on my box so I can make some decisions uh, because I was expecting another mix and match as well. But um, so this is the next shirt that was in there. It's got that, uh, it said pink on the paper, but it looks like it's more like a mauve color, which is good because I don't really like pink. So um, it's got the little tie front. It is extremely soft. I thought I wasn't going to like this, but when I put it on, it's kind of comfortable and it's nice just, you know, throw on some jeans and a shirt if I have to run out real quick. Uh, like I did today, I had almost the same exact type of shirt on here. I had on the uh, camel one that I got from another box, but it's got the same, it's got a side knot that's on there. But like I said, it's just, I had to run out real quick to the, to the UPS store. So this is nice for that, but if I don't end up keeping anything in the box, um, it just doesn't make sense for me to keep it. So, um, we'll see. All right. So I kind of do like this next one. When I took it out of the box, I was thinking, eh, not really, especially for the price. I think it was priced at like $64 or something. It might even actually be more. Um, but when I put it on, it is very comfortable. Sometimes, um, shorter sweaters like this, the, the sleeves don't um, come long enough, but these are just fine. Um, but what really sold me on the back of this shirt and what really might make this box worth it because I'm looking at a couple of other pieces is the back of this shirt. Now I do have a sweater that um, is similar to this that I got from um, Trendsend and it very quickly became one of my favorite sweaters. So I like this one a little bit um, better because it's, you know, at the bottom and the top it's already like put together. Um, I may have a problem with the lace on the back if I wash it, like I do with my sweater. I feel like I have to constantly fix it, otherwise it doesn't lay right. 
but I really like this sweater, but it would not make sense for me to just keep the sweater when I like four of the other pieces, all except for maybe one, maybe two I don't like. So um, very indecisive. It is a little wrinkled right now. That's, that's my fault. My apologies. Um, but yeah, there's the shirt. Can you guys see that okay? Let's hide it in the way. All right, let's see what's next. All right, I'm not gonna lie. If you watched some of my videos before, you know that I don't like floral. Stitch Fix sent me a floral dress last year and I ended up keeping it. So maybe florals are growing on me. Um, I just got a similar top in my mix and match box. I kind of like that one too, but I ended up sending it back. This one, I really thought, I really thought for a lot of reasons I would hate it. First of all, it's got this panel. I hate that because if I bend over, I don't want you looking through the side of my shirt. So um, that's the first thing that threw me off. Um, and sometimes these don't lay right right here when it's got that side panel. Um, sometimes things don't match up. It just looks funny. This one didn't do that. Um, the second thing I thought I was going to dislike was this ballooning at the bottom, but it's really not a lot. It doesn't stick out too much. Um, you have the multi-level, I don't know what to call it, sorry. I can't think on my toes. Um, so it's got the high-low in the back. There we go. And then the sleeves are very cute. They have the um, tie right here. So you can make them looser, you can make them tighter. I kind of just kept it where they had it because I tried to make it a little bit tighter and it didn't look right. A little bit looser, it just looked even worse. So um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. So I didn't get any jeans, I didn't get any pants at all from Stitch Fix this time. It was all just shirts. These came from uh, my last Wantable box um, that I kept. So I just kind of paired it with this real quick. Uh, but this is kind of basically how I'd, I'd go out in it. So I don't know. I, I don't know. So between this and the green sweater, like I really like these two pieces. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to do because the two pieces alone almost equal what it would cost for me to keep the entire box. So a little up in the air. Let's see the last piece that I have. All right. So for this last one, I swapped out my darker color jeans for a pair of white jeans because if this was something that I was going to keep and wear, I'd probably be wearing it with white jeans. Um, darker jeans or light jeans or just a jean color in general with blue, I feel it just doesn't look right. So, um, this top has, they call it the, um, what did they call this? I don't know. They called it like off the shoulder. So I can't remember what I said in the description, but it's more like a tank top and, uh, got long sleeves. It's got the bungees on the cuffs, open at the bottom. Um, on the back, it does have a little string that goes across as well. And this, these actually do move. So, I mean, oh no, it doesn't. I thought it moved. Okay. I'm wrong. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'm not sure what I think about this shirt. It is kind of like a dressy material, but, um, I don't know. I mean, this would be cute too, just to run out in real quick. Just again, throw on a pair of jeans, quick date night, not going really like anywhere crazy, movies, dinner, you know, something, something quick. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think about this one either. But this, I don't have to return my Stitch Fix until February 22nd because I did ask for an extension because I was really unsure. I wanted to wait for my mix and mac match box. Um, and I kind of want to play around with some of the pieces. So let me know what you think of some of these things. Um, about the blue shirt, the black shirt is definitely not being kept. So if I kept everything in this box, that will show up on um, the buy, sell, trade, stitch fix website on Facebook if you're interested in that, if I do end up keeping everything. Uh, but everything else I could probably wear, I would, you know, keep and wear. Definitely the flower top. That was probably my favorite piece out of everything and I don't like floral. So let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, this shirt is kind of growing on me, but I feel like I just don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. Does it look too old? Cause I'm trying not to look at that old. I don't want to put on like old mom shirts. I kind of want to, you know, 
I'm, I'm in my 30s, so I want to stay looking in my younger 30s. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that button below so you can get videos every time I post. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.